Right, well, today we're going to be looking at our BeeBot. We've got some of these in our classroom, haven't we? And we're going to be learning how to use BeeBot. So BeeBot is our little bee, and he moves forwards and backwards, and he turns, doesn't he? So I'm going to make BeeBot move forward, so I'm going to press the forwards button. Then what button do you think I might need to press next to make him go? Back. What do you think, Lily? Back. Oh, I'm going, to, I'm going to press the go button in the middle and that'll make him move. So, shall I press that? So, watch forwards. Go. <gasps> and he's moved forwards. Should we have a go at making him go backwards? Let's press the clear button. And then we're going to press backwards. And go. Which direction do you think he's going to go? He's going to go this way, isn't he? Backwards. There we go. I'm going to make Bebop move forwards four, and then I'm going to ask him to turn towards Charlie. So clear. <coughs> Press forwards four. four times. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to press this button here because when I press that turning arrow, it makes Bebop turn a quarter turn. Shall we see if we can do it? So I'll press that turning arrow. And then the last thing I need to do is press oh, go. go. One, two, three, four. Now we should turn. Is he going to turn? Yeah. Yes, he's turned towards Charlie. Well done. I think it's brilliant because children love to control him. They love to make him move forwards and backwards and sideways. And there are so many different avenues that you can explore to try and um, further this. So we can link it to any other area. Um, the mats are brilliant that go with Bebot as well because they help him to link with all the areas of the curriculum.